Welcome back, everyone. In today's journey to the center of the open source universe, we have a real oddity that might turn some heads. I'm sure you're all familiar with Visual Studio Code, VS Code, highly popular free IDE from Microsoft. Very popular program. A question I often get is, why would you use Emacs when VS Code is available? And my answer to the question, of course, is because I don't use Emacs so much for coding, I use it for writing documents, prose, basically. And the other reason would be if I was coding, I would usually be doing something in Emacs Lisp, and it wouldn't make sense to use VS Code for Emacs Lisp, because Emacs is sort of an IDE for Emacs Lisp in a lot of ways. It has a lot of built-in functionality to support that individual unique language. Uh, but I've wondered, uh, are there people out there who like the VS Code interface, but who would like to code in Emacs Lisp? And what would their options be? So for that rare use case out there, it is possible to get that VS Code look in Emacs, apparently, uh, with this configuration here in this Reddit post. And here's an image, and uh, that does look pretty much just like VS Code. For sure and uh, from what this post says it looks like um, all of this functionality you're seeing in here is based on uh, augmentation of the built-in emacs functionality plus a lot of extra packages uh, to get this look here so if you wanted to get the vs code look in your emacs as you know emacs users like to bring everything into emacs well this might be just the thing for you uh, so here are the dot files linked from the post and a little bit about the package. So uh, as it says here, uh, so this is not a, a complete uh, configuration package, uh, something like uh, Doom Emacs or Space Emacs. The author here says it's a, more of a copy and paste sort of thing. So you can go through here. This is a, a long readme document written in org mode. So you see it's got all of these uh, Emacs Lisp code snippets in here, which you can copy and paste either into your configuration, um, or you can probably just copy these wholesale into your init file and load it up and see what happens. Of course, there's no guarantees that it will work properly for you. I would probably run through this whole thing uh, just to see what happens, but I feel like I could copy all of this out and maybe nothing would happen. Uh, I'd be curious to see what kind of errors I get. Uh, but really, I mean, like I said, this is not exactly my use case, but I think, um, you know, somebody who's looking for exactly this specific thing, uh, this might do it for them. It looks like um, you got your terminal down here and everything. And of course, what I like about this is that it's actually called Visual Emacs Studio, or um, I guess they didn't want to call it Visual Studio Emacs. Maybe that would be too much on the nose. But as you can see here, 100% Emacs Lisp, of course because this is just an Emacs Lisp configuration that you can hack right into your Emacs. Now, from what I understand about VS Code, a lot of people like it because of the, um, not just the interface itself, but also all of the integrations and plugins and uh, things like the AI Copilot, uh, the, uh, the GitHub Copilot that you can install with a plugin. Um, but of course, that also interfaces with Vim and Emacs as well. You just have to do a little bit of extra configuration. There are some packages that facilitate that. So you can get a lot of the same functionality, it looks like, um, right in your Emacs. So if we look at this readme file here, um, so here is the raw org file, the readme, with all the configurations in it, and that's about uh, 3,059 lines. So that's quite big for a... Uh, or an org file and you can see there's a lot of stuff in here a lot of it is commented out so i'm sure there is a lot of um a lot of personal configuration you'll have to do to see what you want to what you want to keep and what you want to disallow but curious exciting interesting i am really tempted to just throw this into a file and load it up uh, and we'll see if i do that i will turn on the camera and record it but for now i think this is a fun oddity i just wanted to throw it out there see if anybody has used this what do you think of it this is actually emacs look at that crazy well there you go everybody 
I'm going to go ahead and leave the video right there to all you VS Code users who are tempted to look at Emacs or all you Emacs users who are tempted by VS Code. This might be your lucky day. All right, everybody, I will leave the video right there. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time.